Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here for another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if you're unable to turn on or enable the Windows Firewall service on your Windows 10 or Windows 11 computer. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So we're going to start off by opening up a web browser, doesn't matter which one. And I'm going to have a link in the description of the video here, guys, to a Microsoft utility that's going to go ahead and actually work on Windows 10 or Windows 11 here. So we're going to go ahead and actually keep the file. This is a Microsoft signed file, so I don't know why it's coming up with an issue through Microsoft Edge. But regardless, this is the Windows Firewall troubleshooting utility. So we're just going to close out of here and select the advanced option. Again, this is coming directly from Microsoft as well. So we're gonna go ahead and make sure apply repairs automatically is checkmarked and then select next. The reason we downloaded the application is because it's not very forward facing anymore in Windows 11. In Windows 10, I believe it is, but regardless, you can run this on Windows 10 or Windows 11. So we're going to go ahead and follow along with the recommendations here. So it wants us to allow remote assistance. Let's go ahead and enable that. It wants to allow file and printer sharing potentially. Go ahead and select that as well. And then see if that has resolved the problem. Again, that's something I would recommend taking a look at. Something else we want to check into as well would be to open up the search menu. Type in services. Best result, should come back with services here. Go ahead and open that up. You want to locate the Windows Defender services. There's multiple ones in here. So scroll down. First one, the Windows Defender Advanced Threat Protection Service. Go ahead and double click on that. Set startup type to automatic and then start the service. And then select once that's done turning on. You want to select apply and OK. And then you want to do the same thing now for the Defender Firewall service if it stops. So again, go down the list. There's only a couple in my case here, but if you have multiple ones, sometimes Windows or Microsoft changes some of the service names. So there may be more or less, um, depending on your version of Windows, whether Windows 10 or Windows 11, as well as what build you're on. I mean, it really can change you know, pretty frequently, so just keep that in mind. But pretty straightforward process on that. And then once that is done, you want to go ahead and close out of here. Open up the search menu and type in regedit, R-E-G-E-D-I-T. Best result, check them back a registry editor. Go ahead and right click on that and select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, select yes. And before you proceed in the registry, I would suggest you create a backup of it. So if anything were to go wrong, you could easily restore it back. In order to create a backup, it's very simple. All you have to do is select file and then the export option. File name, I'd recommend naming it the date in which you're making the backup. Set export range to all, and then save it to a convenient and easily accessible location on your computer. And if you ever need to import it back in, all you have to do is select file and then the import option, and then navigate to the file location. So now that that's out of the way, let's go ahead and begin. And we're going to start by double clicking on the HK local machine folder. Do the same thing now for the system folder, so double click on that. Should be a current control set folder in here. Double click on that one as well. Locate services, double click on it. And there should be a BFE folder in here. So scroll down, locate it. And now you want to right click on that folder and select permissions. Now underneath permission for all application packages, full control, you want to check mark inside of that box in there. And then select apply and OK. And then if you went back in here, right click again on that folder and select permissions. We're going to go down to administrators. Again, make sure that is set to full control as well as for users. So go ahead and check mark inside of there and select apply and OK. I would do those final two selections, you know, if you're still having a problem. So if you're having an issue, then you go back into administrators and then users and check mark those options. But you will need to restart your computer before, you know, checking and seeing if it actually worked. So you would have to select OK on that and then restart your computer.
and there you go guys pretty straightforward process and thank you for watching this brief tutorial i do hope i was able to help you out and i look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial goodbye